Hi everyone, so today I am going to do a review, and it is on this brush set that I got at uh, during Boxing Day, and um, so this is the Quo brush set. It comes with brush roll and it comes with 10 professional brushes. Um, this is the one that came out at Christmas time. They don't have this one right now. They might come back up with an extra Christmas. I'm not 100% sure. I think they come out with one every Christmas. It's just a different roll, and <coughs> sorry. And they do have the same brushes that are in here, just not the same looks that you can get at Shoppers Drug Mart. Um, I don't know if you can get them anywhere else. I don't know if maybe like TJ Maxx carries in the States, but um, in Canada I just know that Shoppers Drug Mart has them because it's a quo brand. And anyways, um, so this is the brush roll. It's kind of like a lacy material. It comes with these two little bead things on the end and like the ribbon trap around it. So then you undo it. And this is the brush roll. Um, the brush roll isn't as sturdy as what I would like it to do. Like, as you can tell, it's very flimsy. Um, I'm going to talk about this a little bit more when I open it up. So, this is it, and you open it up. And those are all your brushes right there. I'll go through them all in a minute. Um, the one thing I don't like about this brush, brush roll is that every brush doesn't have its own pocket. Like, it's kind of... It's kind of weird because, like, two of them have to share. Like, these ones right here have to share. That one right there has to share. And they're not, like, fitted for that certain brush to go into. Like, I've moved them around a million times. I tried to make them fit. And they all just seem to fall out, which I don't like. Like, I like... It might be better if it was, like, a zip one. It might be a lot better. But all in all, I don't really like the brush roll itself. And um, that's also another reason why I bought it is because it came with a brush roll and I didn't just want my brushes sitting on my vanity. So, that is one thing to consider about this, um, you know, the, that they don't really fit in there too well and, you know, they always fall out when you open it. Because, see, look, look at how easy that is to take these out. So, that is one thing I don't like about the brush roll. It's a very pretty brush roll, except for that. So, I'm going to go through it and I'm going to show you all the brushes. And um, then I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about the brushes. So this is a foundation brush. And this is what the handle looks like on all of them. It's kind of like a marbly, gray, metallic, and white um, kind of brush. And so this is a foundation brush. It's got like the little white tip on the top. And the, then they're brown. They're brown bristled. And they're very sturdy. I haven't had any fall apart. Um, the next one is a powder brush big and I can, can like compare it to my face like it's it's huge it'll get the job done really fast or it does um so the next one is the lip brush which I've actually haven't tried not gonna lie because I don't really wear stuff a lot on my lips but um especially like lipstick but you know so I can't really review this one but I can review all the other ones sorry um this is the large concealer brush This is my favorite one out of them all, and this is a blush brush. That's what it looks like. Um, this is a shadow smudger brush. This one is a definer shadow brush. This one is the liner brow and definer brush. This one's kind of dirty because I use this all the time. This is the All Over Shadow Brush. And then this one is a Crease Blender Brush. So with the foundation brush, I find that it is actually a good size to get all over it. So it's not taking me forever to do my foundation. Like, I don't wear a whole lot of foundation at all. But um, when I do wear foundation, which is mostly when I go out at night, um, I like to have it because it's actually bigger than my than this one right here this is the one I used to use all the time but look at that that's like double the size so this um actually gets the job done really fast and if you can get into like corners really easily so it's it's a good brush to have and like I said about the powder brush I don't really use it I don't really use this one a lot I don't really wear a lot of powder but um sorry I was smelling my brushes because I just washed it um as for them shedding I think they shed a couple times, like I don't have a problem with them shedding on my face. Um, I find that a lot with any new brushes that I get that they'll shed a first couple times. But um, I use them enough now that like I'm pulling on it and nothing's coming out, so um, that's a good thing. Okay, I got one, but you know what I mean. 
Okay, the large concealer brush. Um, with this one, if you want to conceal like in your nose, it's really easier, like underneath your eyes. Then you can get it in like one sweep. You don't really have to do like a whole lot. Um, the lip brush, like I said, I don't really use, and I don't think I really would because it's kind of huge and take up like all my lip. Like, like look at that. That's like my whole lip plus more. So now my blush brush. This is my favorite one of all time. Um, right now I've been using it with the Happy Booster Glow and Mood Boosting Blush in Rose by, Phys by Physicians Formula. And, you know, it's big enough to swirl in all the colors and put it in my cheek and just go like that, and I'm basically done. Um, obviously, I do it a couple times to build up the color, but it is an awesome brush to have. And they are, like, a good length, too. Like, they're not travel size. They're, like, regular length. And I like that, and they're nice and, like, all of them are nice and sturdy. Like, they're not falling apart. Um, which one's this one? I already did that one. Um, one thing I don't like about the Shadow Smudger Brush is that, look at how tiny it is. That's actually how tiny it is. Like, it might be good for underlining things, but I don't use it for, like, my corner or anything like that, because it's kind of harsh, because it's kind of small, so it kind of hurts. So, that's one thing I don't like about it. This is a definer shadow brush, and with this one, I find that it's too hard, and this one is a little bit prickly than all the other ones, so I don't like using this one, and it's just not really movable for, like, how you want to define, like, your eyeshadow and just stuff like that, so I don't really like that one. Um, the liner and brow um, one, I don't use it for, to cover it for my brows because I don't fill my brows, and I've used it for liner once, and I think that the bristles right here are too big and that you can't really get a grasp, like, you can't really, you know, get in there. It's not, because it's too long. That's just my opinion. Um, this one, it, it could be my favorite brush, but I think that's too big. Like, the Oliver Shadow Brush, like, it takes up more than my eye. It goes all the way up to the crease, which I don't like. Because, and it's also, like, flimsy, like, when you're trying to, like, pack on the color, you can't really do it because it's so huge, and I'm very disappointed in that because I thought I love it. And then this is another one that, like, it's the Crease Blender Brush, and it is, like, the perfect size to get into your crease. So, yeah, all in all, I would say that I like these brushes. Um, the brush roll is a big fail for me. I hate it completely. Um, you know, it's so pretty and stuff, I had to get it. Also, um, it was regular 70 bucks, but um, at, on Boxing Day, it was on sale for 30 30 35 I think with tax it came to like $35, but um, since I had my shopper's optimum card, I had enough points to get $30 off, so I ended up only paying 5 bucks for this. That's the only reason why I picked it up. So if you guys want any more reviews on anything, let me know down below, and I hope you guys like this review. If you want to see more, then thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.